Hi, Victor. Hey, Jewel. How's it going? Good. Where are you, Charles? Toronto. Oh. I thought you might ask about that. I don't know. I had a feeling about it. Where Where are you both? <laughs> I'm in Vancouver. Okay. And I'm in Sag, Sag Harbor, Long Island. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So with the two of you, it feels like, um, I feel like you would have come together sooner, that you would have worked together prior to this. I watched... I very, very, very briefly on an episode of Legends of Tomorrow. You kind of crossed paths yeah. there. Um, but I, I, I thought you might have had more of a working history together, but it seems like you've fallen into such a great family dynamic, even though, you know, maybe at first you're a little opposed, it seems like you work together so well. So what is it that you like most about working with each other? Oh, I mean, everything. Um, we we got close don't, really don't, Oh. Oh God, Klein. Sorry. Cancel. There you go. Oh my God. He always calls at the wrong time. Okay, go ahead. Um, I did it. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we got close really quickly. I feel like we have a very similar work ethic and we like to have a good time. So it just it just felt like an instantaneous connection, really. And um, Victor has taught me a lot about uh, how to manage a workload, how to say no. He's very, very good about that and keeps telling me, you know, conserve your energy. You can say no. Um, and um, it just, yeah, it was an instantaneous thing. Well, I'm very old. So I have, <laughs> I know, I know, I know my way around uh, somewhat. But here's the thing I, 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 I feel like I've, you know, really lucked out with this job. It came out of the blue. I thought the script was really good. I didn't know any of the people, uh, any of the actors, the producers I'd worked with briefly once on uh, Motive many years ago, a show that was very successful. And I remembered that that show was really well run and, and very well shot. And I thought that's, that's, these are the things that are, are important to me. And then of course the cast, which, you know, I was, I didn't know because um, I don't remember acting with Jewel on on what's the what's the show Legends. Uh, we were just remember... passing in the night. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I passed. That's how it feels, yeah. I, I passed way too many people on that show, and <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I I so but so anyway, the point is, it was a, it was instant chemistry. It was magical for for all of us, uh, and it was unexpected, frankly, um, and that's why it's been so. Uh, why we're happy to be talking about it and how and how proud we are of this show and how much we want people to tune in and see it. Mm. We love doing it. Mm -hmm. You have a great connection on the show. Um, I noticed you're both also in the most recent Heritage Minute as well too. Jewel, you're actually yeah. in it. And Victor, you do the voice at the end. Did that right? come about? Yeah, the, the narration about... Um, uh, the history for diabetes, and it was actually a very uh, uh, touching um, yes. promotion as well, yeah, it too. It was beautiful. It turned out so well. But yeah, that was completely <laughs> random. I, I was asked to to do the Heritage Minute, and being a Canadian girl, Canadian actor, I thought, well, about time. I can't believe I haven't been asked yet. <laughs> so yeah. I, I I jumped on it, jumped at the chance, and then they said, oh, we have Victor doing the narration at the end, which was just completely by accident. Right, Victor? I yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it. I so I, I don't know how but I'm glad it's turned out well. Yeah. That's yeah, great. Really good. What does that mean to you? Because you've both, I mean, you've you've both worked in Canada and the States in American productions in Canada. What does it mean to be on a show like this and particularly a Canadian show like this? It's it's the best. It's kind of all I've ever wanted. I've grown up in Vancouver. And to work on a show where Vancouver is shown in all of its glory and doesn't have to pretend to be Seattle or you know New York or anywhere else, it's just Vancouver and celebrated as such has been really meaningful to me. Um, and we have great crews up here in Canada. We have the best crews in the world and we have incredible actors. Because of, of COVID protocols and precautions, we were unable to fly a lot of our uh, guest stars up from the US we had to cast locally. So for me being a local actor, it was the perfect opportunity to have our local talent pool shine. We have incredible actors here in Canada and to be able to showcase them and uh, watch them 
show what they can do has been pretty amazing, very gratifying for me. I felt um, I felt that you know the idea that it was Canadian was was all Canadian was unique for me and also intriguing. And I honestly didn't know what it would be like to to. But I, what I found was it was in many ways one of the most well run and, and best shows I've been involved with. And uh, it's just um, you, there is a sense of of, um, of pride because you know you're you're all part of the same team in a way, in a real way. Uh, and uh, I've 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 been amazed by the talent, as, as Jewel is saying. The people that come on the show that I I don't, I've never heard of, never met, are just staggering. I mean, the, the, the talent is is pr truly impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Victor, you have a, a couple of links. Uh, that I noticed from recently. Um, Happiest Season is an Entertainment One production, and this is Entertainment One television. And also that your Shit's Creek episode that you were on, that Jordan Canning had directed that one, and now she has directed the first two episodes of the series. Yes. You talked about, you talked about maybe it didn't kind of feel like out of left field, maybe not connected, but do you, know, do you draw on some of those past or recent experiences coming into the show? Well, uh, of course, I mean, they're all, it's, it's, you know, you draw on everything when you're doing it, you know, you, everything is sort of like a, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, a washing machine and, you know, and, and you just have to wrinkle, get the wrinkles out, but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel very, um, that I, I'm, I, I love being a part of it, you know, and I, uh, uh, and also Dan Levy, who was uh, Eugene's son, who's an old friend, uh, was in Happy Season, and that, they're, they're, the yeah. connections, they, or the, you know, I, I always believe that there's a reason we all are together, and uh, it's 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 very um, humbling to be a part of something that you feel is is should be. We I feel like we're all in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And Jewel, a big theme on the show is that of you know perhaps starting over a little bit or or making a fresh start. <laughs> I don't know for you, does it feel like the show in a way kind of feels like that? Um, a little bit. I mean, I, I'd been looking for something that was filming at home for so long. I, mm. I had a, a little boy five years ago. So for me, I just really wanted to stay put and have him live a regular life and have a regular routine without having to put him on a plane somewhere so I could go and shoot a show somewhere else. Um, so I, in all honesty, and instead of a fresh start, it just it it just feels like winning the lottery yeah. <laughs> at this point. Especially the fact that we we got renewed for a season two without even airing season one. We had a spectacular yeah. shoot for season two. We just wrapped. I mean, it's it's been everything I've wanted and more. And I I just feel incredibly fortunate. Yeah. How does it feel about that? Because you know you already are renewed for a season two. When I was first hearing about the show. It, it, all, it all obviously hit somebody already. I've had a chance to see the first two episodes, but you know, you were making an impact before you'd even aired. How does that feel to you? It's well, I'll, 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 it's, 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 un, it's unheard of, is what it is. Yeah. In, my, in my experience, in my 75 years in the business, it's unheard of. Um, it's, uh, I'm not really 75, so I, I don't mean <laughs> um, that was a joke. Um, oh, just in case people, you know, they can't see me, but I, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I, I think it's um, it's it it made. Listen, the the network is behind it. Obviously, mm. that's that's all it needs, and that's all it takes to get a renewal. And we're so grateful for that uh, that mm -hmm. they saw what we all saw and felt what we all felt. Uh, and now the next step is you know audiences, and I'm confident that we will you know find the audience that uh, should be there. Mm. Very curious about that because you know I've responded very well to the show and I know that an audience will as well. What have you both responded to? What's what has been something recently? You know I've watched a lot more television since uh, lockdowns and quarantines and it hits differently. Have you both seen something recently that's really meant a lot to you? Um, I I got through the Queen's Gambit, which I just yeah. loved. I I'm not yeah. a chess my husband is a, a huge chess player he does chess tournaments and all of that so he was he'd watched the show while I was at work and said once you're finished once you're wrapped 
you have to see this. And so I, I sat down and watched the show and it's just it's incredible and amazing. And everything everybody said it was, yeah. We've, we've been watching uh, Ted Lasso, the second season, which, which I think is a remarkably uh, wonderful show. And then lately, because my, my good friend Marty Short is, is in Only Murders in the Building, yeah. um, and, uh, a, and a few other friends are in that as well. And we just started watching it, and I found it completely hilarious and talk about off the wall and and uh and very enjoyable so we're, we we watched the first four episodes of that and look forward to watching the whole season that's awesome uh i want to ask you jewel lastly there's a real good sense of tone within the show that you know you're presenting serious subjects sometimes in kind of funny ways there's a real sense of uh, you uh, the show understands what it is you know how does it feel to play that it's so nice because that's life. Life is, is heartbreaking and also really funny. And a lot of the time in the same day, <laughs> you know? So the way the show is written, it explores all of the facets of things and the, the, the way things sometimes unravel um, can, can hit you everywhere and, and make you laugh and make you cry. So um, I, I love the reality of it. it. It's it can sometimes be really zany and feel a little off the wall in some episodes, which is really fun to play too. But it, in essence, it's it's based in reality and and stays there. So for me, I feel like that's the most relatable part of the show, and I I hope that's what people connect with too. Right on. Um, I just wanted to say both of you. I've never had a chance to speak with either of you, but it feels already very comfortable, very safe. You feel like family already. So Thanks. it was really, really nice uh, to get oh, a chance to hear from you both of you know. about the show and you're just thinking. your your manner and, and everything about it was wonderful. So thank you for that. Thank, thank you. you. Our pleasure. Uh,